Nasıl? Dur uçağım. to the river and then you come back. What if we see crowds? Make sure I don't see you. All the lieutenant wants to know if there are any crowds this side of the river. Wait a minute. Give me your rations, huh? Cage! Yeah. Give me your rations, huh? White Rook, over. White Rook, this is King 2. Have you reached Checkpoint Fox yet, over? We're about a thousand yards northeast of there. We just liberated a couple of dozen Polish DPs. They're in very bad shape. They need food and medicine, over. Well, I'll have to wait. Have you made contact enemy our sector yet, over? Negative so far. Just send the men out on an extended recon, over. Roger. When they come back, return my position, over. Roger, we'll go. How about transportation for those DPs, over? I'll see what we can do about it. Maintain radio contact. Out. Roger, out.
I tried to pass him out, but... Punch him! Punch him! Tommy is that shit! Luigi! Luigi to Shreya! Stavaiche! Stavaiche Shreya! Stavaiche! Shreya! Forgive my people. They are starving. My name is Anton Glinski. I was the mayor of the town in Poland from which most of these men are coming from. Oh. <laughs> Stiff in the legs. With me, the SS men tried something different. Three nights and three days standing in a river of ice. They thought I would never come out. I did. I disappointed them. I can stand. Thank you. Thank you. Take it easy now. Just take it easy. Everybody's gonna get one, so just take it easy now. Lewis, this is King, too. All right, when he comes back, have him call me. This is Lieutenant Hanley. Is that all the men there are? I mean, this is a pretty big camp. Well, there were 300 until a few hours ago, when your airplanes are coming. What happened to them? The Germans, they, they run away quick. They take all strong men, those who could walk. The rest of us, they did not have time to kill. Promise me. Promotes me. Jan! 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 What happened to him? Give me your sofa. It happened when your airplanes were shooting the trucks. I was in the compound. I could not run. He tried to save me. And he was hit. Doesn't look too good. You think he is dying? Yes, sir, I'm afraid so. Is he one of the men from your hometown? He is my son. I was heading for the river and we found him hiding in the woods. He says uh, I escaped from the Germans. He speaks real good English. I did escape. I did. I jumped up from the truck and they were looking down at me and I hid. Why did you run from the Germans, Garage? They were your friends. It's not true. He was our overseer. I didn't want the job. I was appointed by them. Well, by who? Uh, these people here? By the Germans. It's because I speak many languages. 
I was a steward on an ocean liner. Well, you must believe me. I did everything for my people, everything I could. You look well fed. I didn't steal the food from my people. I stole it from the Germans. I hate the Germans. Yeah, sure you do. Now you know they're losing a war. I better get back to Nelson and Little John. Get it. The river's not that far. They ought to be back pretty soon. This is King 2, over. We have reached our first objective. Light contact. Crowd pulled out, over. Move on to second position. Try to regain contact, over. Roger. Out. Hanley. Yes, sir, I'm glad you see it that way. Well, according to Saunders, those people are in terrible shape. It'll require two trucks and maybe an ambulance if we can get one. And a lot of extra rations. Yes, sir, I hope it's worthwhile. Out. Can you see all right, Billy? Yeah, clear across the river. Uh-oh. What is it? You see something? Yeah, crowd patrol headed this way. Come on. coming our way. Sorry, there's a crowd patrol coming our way. How many? At least eight or nine. Protege! Go. Keep your eyes open. All right. What are you going to do? My orders are returned to platoon position as soon as my patrol came back. You must take us with you. Most of our people cannot walk. Do you intend to leave us to the Germans? Look, most of us who can walk can go with you, yes? Oh, just shut up. We can't carry them all. The ones that can walk will... will take with us. I will stay with those who cannot walk. We must hurry. They'll be here soon. What's happening, Sarge? Let's see if we can stay a little longer. Sarge! You got company! Cross down the road! Stay hidden! Maybe it'll bypass us. Get the water off those windows, we don't want to get bottled up in here. All right. Everybody's got to be absolutely quiet. We don't want to tang with those crusts unless we have to. Uh-oh. Looks like this just isn't our day, Sarge.
Kirby, little John. Go out the back door, try to flank him. But don't fire till I do. Let him get set. He'll come. We got lucky, but now we're going to have to pull back. We'll take the ones who can walk, and uh, the rest are going to have to wait. There's no other way. You are leaving us? Poor Jamoy. I have my orders. Orders? <laughs> they will kill us. Well, that's the way it is. You save the ones you can. You're right. He, Glinsky, wishes you to stay because his son cannot walk. My son is dead. King two, this is White Rook over. Checkmate King two, this is White Rook over. This is Checkmate King two over. Made contact, got eight sitting ducks and one live pigeon. Lieutenant, what happened to those trucks with the DPs? Over. Still trying to arrange it. Hey, what's holding you up, White Rook? You had orders to return here when your mission was completed. Over. I had an idea as two might be interested in these DPs. They could have valuable information. Over. What are you proposing, White Rook? Over. Request permission to stay and protect these DPs until the trucks arrive. Over. All right, hold your position. Let's see what I can do. Over. Roger. Out. Well, uh, what kind of information, Sarge? 
Tell Kirby to bring in that prisoner. Sergeant, we are grateful. Forget it. There's two men, I buy it. Yes, sir. You've alerted battalion, sir? Good. All right, Captain, then with your permission, I'll go ahead and fill them in. Thank you. Give it a crank, Johnson. I've got to get battalion this, too. Saunders sold me a bill of goods, now I've got to sell them one. If he does, he's been keeping it a secret. I could talk to him, Sergeant. This outfit may know that we're in here. They may have heard the firing. When he and his men don't return, they may decide to bust this place wide open. Well, what, what should I ask him? Find out the location of his unit, the strength and men and weapons. Wo ist uh, Ihre Einheit und wie stark? Tell Babel, Henrik Buxmann. Cunning's number 9793 via 00. He says his name, he's a sergeant, and his army number. Ask him again. Feld of Abel, Heinrich Buxmann. Cunning's number 7. White Road, this is Checkmate King 2. Over. Get out of here. White Road, this is Checkmate King 2. Over. This is White Road. Over. The answer from S2 is affirmative. Stay with the DP till the trucks arrive. Over. Roger, how long will that be? Over. Now watch yourself. S2 reports a storm brewing, your area. Over. Roger. Out. There is trouble. Enemy troops in the area. We have to find out how many. That prisoner could tell you what you want to know. But he will not. <laughs> Available Heinrich Buxmann, a cunning number 1793400. That does it. Okay, let's go in a double here. <coughs> What's that for? He uh, asks, uh, what are you going to do? Well, he should know he's a squad leader just like me. He won't talk. We'll have to find out for ourselves. Du bist auch ein Gruppenführer. Du musst verstehen, dass er die Antwort doch bekommt, wenn du nicht aussagst. Will I be clear, Lassen? He says, uh, are you going to leave him here? That's right, we have no choice. Ja. Yeah. Er spricht ein Gefangener. Er muss mich beschützen. He says he's a prisoner of war. You must protect him. I'm going on a patrol. Can't carry anybody. I need every man I've got. Kirby, take the point. All right, move out.
Take him inside. Leutnant Kraus is mit seinem Zug auf dieser Seite des Flusses. His unit is on this side of the river, three kilometers from here. They do not know that this labor camp is here. Uh, his lieutenant is not familiar with this area. What are they doing? They want to see how far you Americans are coming. How many of them are there? A full platoon. They had six of us. That's about seven to one, Sarge. It's some odds, huh? Niemców jest cały pluton. To siedem do jednego. Musi mi się wycofać. Shut up, Karaj. Shut up. These men can walk. I demand to leave here. We can give information to the Americans. If we stay here, we'll all die. What about the ones that can't walk? Uh, look, Sarge, can we uh, talk to you for a minute? Uh, this, uh, this guy, Karatz, I mean, I, I know how you feel about him. We, we feel the same way, you know, but what he says is true. Our order is to stay with these DPs, and that means all of them. Sarge, there's a whole platoon out there. Now. You don't want to let them. They find out there's only six of us. That's just a duck. I'm not going to find out. upstairs and get some men and take up the sun. Okay.
I have been looking. Get inside. Dead man, piece of pipe, child game. Get inside. Nothing. Chuck's ought to be getting here in about an hour. Keep your eyes open. All right. How's it look? Little John. Move him over a little. Right. Hold it. Maybe some more guns out there by the trucks. We could use them. Watch this prisoner. I want you to guard him, huh? Yeah, that's what I mean. Tell him I want him to watch this man. Let me guard him. I want him to do it. Now tell him. Americanin, say that you spill no vote to go Niemca. Wait a minute. Just tell him I want him to watch him, not to, not to kill him, huh? Nie zabigo. Huh? Hey, Sarge. One of these things don't work. It'll be okay. Since I am here, might as well do my share. Give me a rifle. Give me the one that doesn't work. Take those down there, huh? Mouse outfit I ever saw. Think we'll get away with it, Doc? Well, I don't know. It's been done before. What do you mean? <laughs> Who ever pulled off a deal like this before? Well, for one, there was this fellow named uh, Gideon. Gideon who? Well, you know, just just Gideon in the Bible. You should have gone to Sunday school, Kirby. <laughs> That's what my old lady used to tell me. <laughs> What's that Gideon guy, anyway? Well, I don't know. He was just, uh... Wait a minute. Judges, judges, judges. Judges, seven, seven. Now. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lapped will I save you and deliver the Midianites into thine hand. Let all the other people go every man into his place. So on, so on down, so on. And so... Now, now. And Gideon divided the 300 men into three companies. And he put a trumpet in every man's hand, with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me and do likewise. And behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that, as I do, so shall ye do. When I blow with the trumpet, I and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpets also on every side of all the camp, and say, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. So, 
Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch, and they had but newly set the watch. And they blew the trumpets and brake the pitchers that were in their hands, and the three companies blew the trumpets and brake the pitchers, and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow withal. And they cried, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon, just like he said. And they stood every man in his place round about the camp, and all the host ran and cried and fled. And the three hundred blew the trumpets, and the Lord set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the host. And the host fled. And that's just exactly what the swords are trying to do. Uh, do you understand that? Uh, uh, some of it. Guess I should have listened to my old lady. <laughs> Niemand drin. Nehmen drei Mann. Und du, suchen Sie das Lager. Du und du. Mitkommen. Maybe they won't come. Aunt Lucy and I, man, recon patrol to search every yard of this territory. Sing out if you see anything. Dodge! Crowd's down the road, coming out of the woods. Stay down, don't let them see you! Crouch! Get ready! Don't forget, I want at least one of them to stay alive. Remind your people of that. Dvoch ma zostat žič! Dvoch! Thank <laughs> you. 
That's right, let him get away. eine ganze Kompanie drin. Sind Sie sicher? Jawohl, aber nein. I can see them across the trees. I blow with the trumpet, I and all that are with me, then blow you the trumpet also, on every side of all the camp, and say, the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. <laughs> 